Well, you've heard the song, you've read the positive daily inspirations about looking to the bright side of life. It is really the only wise thing to do. Now, you might have heard the stories about my family. They used to be in the funeral business. As a young boy, I would go with my grandfather and I would visit the cemeteries. You can learn a lot about life visiting cemeteries. You look at every gravestone, that was a life that was lived. Was it lived to the full potential? Was it lived for a person that was using their human mind in the correct way? Instead of looking to worry and fear, looking to the good? In Psalms 51, verse 8, it says, Make me hear joy and gladness. If you believe in this life experience that you're in, that you're connected with an all-knowing and all-loving God, if you really know that, I mean really, really know that, you'll, you'll find it impossible to be a pessimist. After all, with God in God's heaven and on your side and within you, you'll have every reason for a positive outlook. Yet, let's be honest, we're in this life experience and we are human. And from time to time, we experience what the Bible calls the fall. And the fall of man is in the day. Not in the life, but in the day. Now, of course, many days ruin a life. But the fall of man is when you fall prey to fear, doubt, discouragement. Now, if you've been plagued by those feelings lately, it is time again to lift your hopes and lift your prayers to God. Time and time again, the Bible reminds us of God's blessings. In response to God's grace, let us strive to focus our thoughts on things that are pleasing to God and use this God-given life in the best way we can. Not focusing on things that are corrupting, discouraging, or frustrating. The next time that you find yourself mired in a, in a pit of pessimism, ask God to help you redirect your thoughts. Ask God to make you hear joy and gladness. This world is God's incredible, wonderful creation. And when you look to God, and look for the best. You won't have to look far to find it. Because it will come to greet you. You will have an attracting power for it. I pray today. The words that you've heard so many times. But hear them again new. God bless you.